three eight packs for three dollars. Wow.
just bought this yesterday for like four bucks at Walmart. 20 cents. Unbelievable. A dollar. Okay. Almond paste. everybody thank you for going with me on that quiet walkthrough tour uh, of the salvage grocery store in our area called uh, grocery warehouse I think I filmed it at the end sorry I'm doing this haul in a parking lot right off the highway so forgive me if you can't hear me um, anyway so I wanted to show you what all $21.65 will buy you if you uh, look up and see if you've got a salvage grocery warehouse in your area. So for under 22 bucks, let's start over here. I got some organic edamame and black bean spaghetti, 89 cents each. I got some creamy Parmesan risotto. I tried to get a butternut squash, but I was a little iffy about the box. It looked like it was a little too damaged for my liking. We got some sesame chicken. Uh, skillet sauce for 69 cents. I paid 20 cents for this Knorr vegetable recipe mix. Um, I got this yesterday at Walmart for four bucks. I'm so mad at myself. Uh, these cold ease with elderberry. I think these were three bucks each if you bought two. Um, I don't know. I think these are at least 12 bucks each at the grocery store. I got some rotisserie mixes here uh, for 69 cents each um, chipotle and tomatilla jalapeno got some chocolate chips um, I don't know what I paid oh a dollar on those some Tony Sachery white gravy mix my family loves this stuff now the container does have a dent in it but that's okay because this isn't like a dented can of vegetables or something it's you know a dry powder so we're okay with that got some white chocolate peppermint tivana for a dollar 99 some pound cake mix for 40 cents and then my daughter with her medical condition she has to take two tums a day and they're very expensive i usually get the off brand which is fine but uh they had these for a dollar 99 each so got a couple of those oh and here's another nor pasta side so anyway um if you go to one of these warehouses, you need to get over your phobia about things being uh, past their best by date because a lot of these things are. And uh, if you're planning on putting this away in your long-term storage, this probably is not the solution for you. But if this is something that you want to use relatively soon, then this might work out. And as you know, most people who've done their research and their prepping knows that things go way past their best by date. So. Uh, just something to consider. I would have got a few more things. I really didn't need any of this, but I just kind of wanted to give you an idea how far your dollar will stretch. If you look, I'm going to guess that most major cities 
have some kind of salvage grocery store. I could be wrong, but um, you might want to look into it. So I hope y'all have a blessed day and I will be talking to y'all soon.